Dude, what you gotta do? Oh, man. Hey. Oh, 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 man.
Say your name and spell it. My name is Martin Thebo. It's T H E B E A U. And your title? Okay. okay. And did you get it? Yeah. All right. uh, could you just tell us what happened here? Um, according to the driver, he was traveling westbound on uh, 44 and apparently the vehicle hydroplane. There were no, no other vehicles involved. Hydroplane lost control of the vehicle, went into a side slide, then it struck the, uh, the light pole, as you saw there. Basically, it was just driving too fast for the conditions of the roadway. That's all we have. We have a four-year-old that's going to be taken to the hospital to be checked. Um, no obvious signs of injuries, but just precautionary. And then we have a female that was pregnant that was transported for, to be checked also. A uh, four-year-old girl? Yes. And uh, do you know how far along the woman that was pregnant is? I heard six months. Six months? Um, citations, anything like that? Uh, I was still investigating it, but there possibly could be citations if she does correct. Can you tell us about the pole? It, got, it looks like it got completely uprooted. Uh, yeah, it's, anything happened there? Yeah, it's a pretty good impact. The uh, Yeah, the pole was completely dislodged from the ground, taken out of the ground and moved what appears to be about four or five feet. So it's a pretty good impact. Any electrical implications? Or? There were originally, but the power seems to be cut off. The lights were on originally, so now they're off, so that's good. So that's not a problem right now. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thanks, Thanks sir. Sure.